Warning, the following games contain spoilers. If you haven't played the games, or gotten far in them, don't watch this video. Alright, greetings everybody, it's Joseph Naishima here, and today, it's about time I'm going to be doing this. Today, is when I decided to take a break. I'm taking some time off from Smash Bros, because, for one good reason. Because I don't have any more ideas. And for this, I was going to do a death battle reaction, but I decided to not do it. Because I was sick. I'm sick. I was sick yesterday. I'm trying to get better. Sorry. But I decided to talk about Spider-Man again. Well, it's time to I'm bringing in Batman this time. Now this is one crazy. One thing I wanted to talk about. The games! So for this reason... Decision I'm making? For this reason, I'm going to be pitting both Batman Arkham City versus Spider-Man PS4. Now originally, I was going to use Spider-Man PS4 versus... Not Spider-Man PS4, Spider-Man 2 vs. Batman Arkham City. But however, I felt like that was unfair. I was like, so... Until I got my PS4 copy... A few... A month... I think it was a month ago... Was when I got my copy. And I was playing it, and after I beat it, I decided to pit these two games against each other. So without further ado, let's go. Round, round one. Round one is the story. may be wondering, how's our story start? Well, it starts with this. Bruce Wayne. Wayne, if you know as Batman, he was sent, captured, while at Arkham City, Bruce Wayne. He was attempting at Arkham City. Until... This happens. Until Tool Who Goes Strange decides to do this. Send Tiger Force in and take... And take him in. Take him to Arkham City. All he know is he has to do what he has to do. No, doesn't know is he also who has to save his enemy, the Joker, when he poisons him with with the same blood. that he has to go after this he has joke after the joker poisons him with his own blood that that was happening from arkham asylum and this story takes place after arkham asylum when and he also has to find out that mr freeze has the cure finds out that free until he go until he finds out this happened that mr F that that the penguin has ha ca captured has captured mr freeze so he has to get a, so he gets, so he has to determine that he has to go after the penguin to go get, to tell Mr. F to go to tell Mr. F In case you didn't know, this is when this happened. Until, until Mr. Freeze tells him that he has to go get Raish, Raish out Ghoul and get, get some, he needed his blood sample. Until, no, then is when he actually has to get, get to Raish out. This is when he has to actually get to Raish get to Raish out Ghoul. And, and he has to pass the test so he could, so he could like, get the, so he can get, so he can take out Rachel Cool for, to get his blood. Until Batman get, then Batman after beating Rachel Cool, he gets his blood. And he returns to GCPD so he can tell Mr. Freeze he has the cure. Until, until he's find out that the Har Harley Quinn has actually stole the cure, cure from the, from Batman, from Mr. Freeze, and and then, then he has to track down. He has to go track down the st go to Steel Mill until Talia does this. 
he she decides to actually have him go go get to the secret of immortality. Who goes strange and and there's the biggest plot twist was when the biggest twist list plot twist was when this. This was when until Ra's al Ghul kills And then he learns this that he has to go after the Joker. The Joker, so he so he doesn't do so so he doesn't become immortal. Until we found out that the real Joker is still sick. Until this is the one thing this happens. And this happens for one thing. You know, it was when. However, the thing. Remember how I said spoilers? Well, this is the spoiler. Where the thing is, ba Batman accidentally drops. Drops the Joker's cure, and, ac and then the Joker tries to, but he ends up dying. The spot where Bruce Wayne's parents died at the Monarch Theater. Now that's out of, out of that for Batman, let's talk about Spider-Man. So starts with when it was taking place six months at the era of when Peter's life. And this does one thing. It does look a bit similar to what Arkham, the Arkham series does. Then there's the thing of what happens when, when the story gets a bit changeable at this scene. Well, that part is when it starts to get when that is when it started to get dark. And also, I love to say this. Oh yeah, the final battle in this game really starts to get emotional. It starts. It starts to. This fight was really about to get emo. While Batman does have a few a bit better that feels like you are going from the superhero way, well, Spider-Man, it does it better because we actually feel like we're just Peter's fa family, friends and family. And it also tries to balance both both his life and, and his life being Spider-Man. And it's really good how I really love the way how they did it. And it is one way of how you're supposed to do a Spider-Man. Point one goes to Spider-Man. Spider-Man gets the point for the story. Round two. Voice acting. Now look. You're saying which has better voice acting? Well the okay, you want know the answer is simple. It's Batman. Real reason Batman Arkham City gets voice acting. Good because think of it. It's really good because of of one reason. It's really good of how how they're actually able to handle characters. Think of it. Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill's mm, their acting in this game were actually so good because they were the he was Kevin Conroy's still the best Batman. And Mark Hamill's still the greatest Joker. 
The dialogue between them two is good. Let me show you. decision you've ever made ends with death and misery. People die. I stop you. You'll just break out and do it again. <laughs> Think of it as a running And yes, Spider-Man's voice acting is good, but I'll show. That was Peter Parker and Mary Jane's conversation. Now I'll show you how he's actually what he's regularly spot. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Hey, big guy. So yeah, after all those cutscenes I can show you. I'll show you in this. After showing those cutscenes, hopefully you guys can understand me. So yeah, this round part one goes to Batman Arkham City. Well, in case you didn't know, I now which you're wondering what game takes the Batman combat. Well, let's talk about it. Let me show you how Batman works. Well, Batman actually works different. Well, that here's how these two work. Well, Batman usually has it. He works with his gadgets, like batarangs, back claws, and also some of the other gadgets, like explosive, explosive gel, and you, know, and you just do your quick gadgets, quick batarangs, quick explosive gel, and beat downs, and a freeze grenade, and also. They're actually useful. Now let's, now let's, from talking about that, let's talk about Spider-Man's combat. Well, Spider-Man actually does one thing different. Its combat is really different. Want to know how? I'll show you. Spider-Man's combos are really different for a good reason. It's where, it's when you, and it's really similar. However, due to, due to the, Due to, however, due to the, however, due to this reason, Spider-Man's combo combat is a bit, eh, is in my opinion. I know some will disagree. In my opinion, it's actually better than our than than the Batman Arkham City City's combat. 
Just in my opinion. Why? Let me tell you. I actually, because I actually know how to, because I never actually get off track and I always know what I'm doing. Because when I'm playing Batman, I actually have so much fun using the web gadgets. And the web, the web gadgets also help you. And there's a fun thing. And then you see this, you see this little, you see this little thing right here? This, this is where your suit power, and your suit power is when you, uh, is this, is whatever suit you choose. It's whatever suit you choose, you get a new suit power. This is, and here's, and for this round, I'm gonna give this round to Spider-Man. Cause the combat in this one right now is much better than Arkham, than Arkham. In Arkham City. In case you didn't know, you may be under wondering. So for combat, that means Spider-Man PS4 gets takes the cake. It takes the cake for combat. Round four, boss fights. All right, sorry I changed, couldn't show any more gameplay. I decided to, yeah, I'll just do the boring thing and not show gameplay, instead show, show this. And... And also, I really want to say this. The Spider-Man PS4 feels like... For its boss fights, for example, when you're fighting... It just feels like a boss rush. Every time you feel like a boss rush, you just do the same things over and over again. But you can't just do anything else. Not until you get to the Sinister Six. Is when it starts to get good. And when it comes to Batman Arkham... And when it comes to Batman Arkham C City, all those boss fights are different. For example, Solomon Grundy... For Grundy, you have to do quickfire explosive gel at all three... At these three... These three... Fire thing these energy things so he can take them out. Oh, there's another ad on the way. Please go. And in case you didn't know, for and for Rish Al Ghul, you'll have to dodge his ninja stars while quick firing a rem your remote electrical charge. And now it's time. And or we're getting to the good ones. Don't worry. Calm down. We're getting to the good ones. Mr. Freeze. Now, in my opinion, Mr. Freeze is the best boss fight through the whole game. The dialogue in this one is actually good. I'm not gonna lie. It has good dialogue. Don't believe me? Hear the for yourself. Freeze is attacking me. Get me the telemetry feed from his suit now. No problem. Bruce, remember what happened last time. Don't try to take him on in a straight up fight. He's too powerful. Okay, Dad is ready. And here's the thing you have to do. All you think it's oh you just beat him up 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 up. No, it's different. Here's what you have to do. What you have to do is this. You have to use your, like, your own, like, different takedowns. You have to use your own takedowns, so there's no logging up by doing the same thing at behind. See that? I know, I know you can't do that. Don't try to do this to Mr. Freeze. And, for this point, Batman actually works better than Spider-Man when it comes to boss fights. It's because you do the different things over, you just do something different. And not the same thing over and over again. And, in my opinion, I think Batman Arkham City has the better boss fights than this game. If we ever, if we're gonna get any prequels, then I will say I'll do a Spider-Man prequel versus a Batman prequel. So, this next point goes to Batman. Round 5, Stealth. Okay, okay, answer simple, Batman wins Stealth again. With stealth because of good reason. Compare Spider Man's up oh, versus Spider Man's stealth. Now, now for Spider Man for stealth, it the uh, if you don't know, here's one thing. If it was one of these two, and I would say this, Batman does it better than Spider Man. No look, because thing for one thing, Spider Man stealth feels like you're just doing. But the main problem is that you, you kind of, I just feel so scared of doing Spider-Man stealth. I feel nervous to seeing of what I'm trying to supposed to do. Now let's get on to Batman. Now let's move to Batman. Unlike 
Unlike Batman. Unlike Spider-Man. Bat from to me, Batman. Batman's stealth is even is much easier in this. Unlike Bat Spider-Man. Batman's Batman's stealth is actually easier. It's much easier so you actually know because you actually know what you're doing. And I don't scare get nervous I get that much nervous. I don't get nervous that much as as when I'm doing Spider-Man. It's because it's easier. And I can complete it faster than any of them any Spider-Man's missions. So for this reason, Batman takes stealth by way. Flight 3 goes to Batman. There's another category we're gonna talk about. Graphics! For graphics, I'll tell you. In my own personal opinion, and I know people feel will be better, I know this, Spider-Man actually feels like it does better when it comes to graphics. And that's because it was done done by Insomniac, and Insomni Insomniac knows how to do Spider-Man. And they, they're really good at, they probably did it more than the better than the other companies that ever done, that have ever done Spider-Man. And, uh, no, I'm not saying that they're better than, um, say, uh, Treyarch or, um, um, what was that other company called again? Dang it, I forgot the other company. Yeah, there we go, Beanox. Yeah, there we go, I just looked it up. Sorry, sorry, I didn't look it up. It's, uh, Beanox. Now, Beanox, I feel like, uh, Beanox, they didn't do that well as, or Beanox. Now, this actually does a bit better. Now let's get on to the next one for Batman. In case you didn't know, I think Batman does better than, um... No, 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 not for you, Rome, not for graphics, but... However, its graphics look good for the original version. However... However, there's one thing. Yay! The, up uh, the graphics in, in Arkham City Remastered! How how do you do this? How do you mess up the graphics? So, for this thing, Spider-Man gets this point for graphics for a good reason. It's more colorful and then, and because it's going by day, well, Batman goes for more of night because it tries because it's spinning for Batman. Now, for this reason, I'm Spider-Man gets point. Now it is a tie, but I'm gonna lead it up to you guys. Which game do you think is better, Batman? Arkham City or Spider-Man PS4? Would you rather have PS? Which which one do you take? The webs, Marvel's web swinger, or do you take the Dark Nut, the Dark Knight? Let me know. Shiba. See you guys next time. Later.